race four, racing. A little slow Lady Arlington, Broker's Point towards the outside, dwelt a little bit. It's back in the tail, the end of the field early. Cider in looking to lead. Going through, Midnight Sun will race handy and Perfect Arc likewise. Perfect Arc getting to second. Lady Arlington now improving after a slow getaway. It's three wide third, Midnight Sun fourth. Broker's Point quickly improving, uh, but it's out wide. Graceful Emma six, one off the fence, and naturally is my name trap three deep. Then Lady Bits on a little worse than midfield on the inside of Spring Peak, and then winning his best, Fairy Garden. Siobhan second last, and Indigo Rain at the tail end. 800 to go along the side, and Lady Arlington drew past Cider in and leads by a length. Perfect Arc third, Broker's Point out wider. Uh, now trying to slot in behind Perfect Arc, and Midnight Sun on the rails. Cider in came away from the fence, goes up to join Lady Arlington again inside the 600. Graceful Emma's running sixth, and seventh on the inside, Lady Baton. Then came Natural Is My Name, Spring Peak, Siobhan, the rails, winning his best fairy garden and Indigo Rain under the whip last. Cider in, goes to the lead again, into the straight from Perfect Arc. Graceful Emma into the clear, then Broker's Point. Wider out natural is my name, Midnight Sun looking for a run and Lady Baton running on. Cider in, Perfect Arc, Graceful Emma, Lady Baton getting out. Graceful Emma draws alongside Perfect Arc and Cider in. Then Lady Baton, it's Perfect Arc and Graceful Emma. Graceful Emma, Perfect Arc. Graceful Emma gets the prize. Good effort. With the big weight, Graceful Emma beat Perfect Arc and Lady Baton. Cider in battle on well, and then came Ma Midnight Sun. Not all that far away, Broker's Point. Had to sit wide most of the trip, and then Spring Peak and Siobhan. Natural is my name. Lady Arlington dropped out. Fairy Garden, Indigo Rain, and winning his best at the tail. Well ridden, Stephen Arnold. He had Graceful Emma well positioned. She had 58 kilos, second up, or third up from a long spell, and she's performed very well. Gritty at the business end to get the better of Perfect Arc. And Lady Baton was held over the last 100 metres. Graceful Emma's had three wins only in her 24-start career. She's a five-year-old mare by Dr Grace out of John Zimmer and trained by Mitch Didham, who had no luck earlier on when his two-year-old was scratched to the barrier. But a perfect ride, Stephen Arnold, from a pretty good gait anyhow, but with a big weight, he had this mare slotted in perfectly. And she's got the prize from Perfect Arc, and Lady Baton. Cider in, which was tackled for the Leeds battle on pretty well for fourth. She's made the transition through to City Grade. And fifth in was number two, Midnight Sun. Looked a chance. Uh, she battled on well. Her best distances will be ahead of her. And the well back bro uh, Broker's Point was trapped three wide all the way. It couldn't get in. Hasn't been beaten all that far, so it might be one worth considering later on. Okay, so one, six, and four there after the running of race four at Caulfield with the toppy home, Graceful Emma. England, coincidence, has been rock solid at the head of the charts at $2.80. Only two chances here according to punters. Coincidence, starter is on his platform. Coincidence, normally slow at the start. See how he begins today. He has gate number one, the fave. Racing, well he stood there, he's missed it by a length coincidence and De Montfort's hard into him to go forward. Vanilla Bean, Hand of God, drop back and Star D came out running. Roussos in the centre with the red cap, Fenway Park and Peter Perfect on the rail away quickly, a line of four. Flipnell's on the outside of Bartolozzi and consequences going through from coincidence on the fence. Getting back is England from Pearl to Yore. They were followed by From the Gold or From the Planet. Uh, Phil Woe back in the field. Vanilla Bean, Blazing Jester, Gira, Two Links, Hand of God. And last of all, as they come to the bend, Brass. Peter Perfect zipped up on the fence and led. It's Peter Perfect in front of the 600 mark from Star D. Two Links away, coincidence on the back of the speed. And De Montfort shoulders out now. He's three wide chasing. Outside of him and under pressure, Fenway. Way Park as they straighten up. Two lengths further back, Bartolozzi and England switch to the outside from Pearl to Yor and Flipnell. On top of the rise and coincidence given full bore. He's raced up and hit the front from Fenway Park, Star D. Behind those, Pearl to Yor running on reasonably well is Bartolozzi, but coincidence, he bungled the start, but he's a pretty smart horse, this bloke below the 100. He's opened up now, leading two lengths on Bartolozzi and Blazing Jester to the outside. Coincidence goes on and wins two lengths to Blazing Jester. Third is Bartolozzi from Fenway Park, Star D, England. They were followed behind those by Brass, who's made up many links from Pearl to Yore. From the gun, then came running on Hand of God over Flipnell. Consequences well back with Gira. Peter Perfect, Vanilla Bean, and a long last Roussos. Good effort. Inside Alley certainly has paved the way after the slow start. Got a terrible habit of missing the kick, this horse. Uh, no doubt Albert Stapleford has worked hard on him to try and overcome this problem, and Mark de Montfort is a very good horseman. 
And if those two gentlemen can't overcome the problem, then it's something that's obviously instilled in the horse's head. At the start, he just wants to miss the kick, get the head up. But he's only a small horse, but boy, he can really get going. He's got a big motor, and at $3.160 has been too good. And he's lumped 56, and it's only his first prep, and he's had three runs, and he's unbeaten. So he's done the job in great style. Blazing Jester putting in his best run this time in, coming from the back. Running on for Hugh Bowman, trained by Gay Waterhouse, who's in Western Australia, overlooking her contenders for the big meeting over there today. And third prize to Bartolosi. So the handicap has got it right. One, two, three, the numbers. Written by John Marshall for Bart Cummings. His run was very good. He'll improve dramatically. So one, two, three it is after the fifth. And coincidence goes on his winning way at $3 and $1.60. Cheltenham's four... I think that's been fixed up now. Again, they're right. All clear given, and away they go. One of the first out, Super Force with Rancho Spark, Blaze the Turf, and Livid going pretty quickly. Dan Ajay are up with them as well, and Glamoremus down towards the rails is pushing through. Just behind the leading pack, Ripon Juga with Mystic Morse and Chris off nearer the inside. Then Rocky's Pell with Mastic, a couple of lengths to Honquok Star. Then Gold Guru, jet lag back at the tail. Dan Ajay leads Livid, who's uh, getting up on the inside of Blaze the Turf, and Rancho Spark one off the fence. Glamoremus travelling up nicely behind them, fifth. The length the way Super Force, Vincent Chris off in the black and pink colours on the fence, wide Mystic Morse around Mastic and then Barnacles and Rocky's Pell, two lengths to rip on Jugar under the whip from Honquok Star, Gold Guru and three lengths away Jetlag, around the turn Livid led, Glamorimus got a butte run through, one off the rails and he charges up to go after Livid, St Chris off following Glamorimus though, halfway up the straight Livid tackled by Glamorimus and St Chris off, Blazer Turf has made ground then Super Force, St Chris off joining Glamorimus and Livid fighting back, St. Christoph takes the lead, 50 to go though, and St. Christoph is going to win it. St. Christoph first has beaten Glamoremus and Livid, then Super Force, Honquok Star ran on, blazed the turf, not all that far away, and then came uh, next time Rip on Jugar from Rocky's Pal, who stumbled pretty badly, and I think it broke down past the post. Unfortunately, a very good horse like that, and it's broken down past the post. Uh, Dana Jaya Barnacles and then Jet Lag, uh, followed home by Rancho Spark. Uh, who's pulled up towards the tail end. Yeah, Rocky's pal passed the post. He just seemed to dip there, and he's, he's broken down, unfortunately. St. Kressoff gets the prize, number three. Well, Stephen Bast is really on a roll. That's been well documented, but it's amazing when a jockey's in such good form. The race just seems to present itself uh, for those horses. They, they just seem to have the box seat run all the way, and St. Kressoff and Glamoremus were on the fence, Beautiful runs through, rounding the home turn. They quickly went up the challenge. And Sir Chrisoff had the last shot at Glamoremus and was able to win it, uh, pulling away. Livid fought on pretty well after making the speed. That's number 15 on the inside. Third and fourth home, number 17, Super Force. Official numbers are 3, 5 and 15. St. Chrisoff has had a terrific last couple of months. Made it three wins in a row. Has been very consistent. Trained at Wodonga by Brian Cox and ridden by Stephen Baster, who is by far having his best season ever. Glamoremus had every chance, beaten by a better horse uh, on the day. Still a very good performance, and Livid running third. So the numbers are 3, 5 and 15. The time was 18.68. Fourth in was Super Force, number 17. Fifth in was number 12, Blaze the Turf. So St. Chrisoff and Stephen Baster after the running of the Christmas Stakes. 3, 5 and 15. Time today as we get set, Yippee IO's moved in, Apache King's moved up. I was just saying to Chris Ryan, this race was first run in 1890, so it's steeped in tradition. Ron Quinton as a rider won it in 1978. He saddles up, asks the waiter in this race. And of the modern day riders, Dan Beasley, Larry Cassidy and Craig Carmody have all won the race in recent years. Terrific betting jewel here, Pastor Express, 380. Yippie IO is the TAB favourite, $3. And Zanetta's been very heavily backed at $5.70. But elsewhere, Pastor Express will run close to favouritism. He was unluckily beaten in the race last year, fractured a cannon bone, mid-race, and was courageous in defeat behind the bolter, Dan Stildorn. <clears throat> he moves in, and Break Dance has completed the line-up, and they're all set for the running of this year's Tui Summer Cup at Group 3 level. The lights are on in front of a big crowd 
Gates open in the cup. Ox the way to near the inside away quickly. And Luther began smartly. Zanetta out in the centre of the track and Pastor Express was ridden hard to take up a forward position. He's coming across outside Zanetta. Kahulawa moved up to be third. Ox the way to fourth. Luther was next. Russet Ridge wide red cap going forward. Al Valance is up a lot handier today. Apache King inside Yippie IA from Mithranda. Pursuits getting back from Koala Con. Breakdance and Jenny Oso went out to the tail of the field. It's the Gay Waterhouse train mare Zanetta in front as they race out of the straight. And along the side of the track, Zanetta led by a length on Kahulawa and Pastor Express is on the fence. Great piece of riding by Grant Buckley in the early stages of the race from his wide alley. Russet Ridge, the rank outsider, is fourth. One away, arcs the waiter inside of Luther. Alva Lance is out on a limb. Three wide, Apache King inside of Yippie Io. One and a half, two pursuits inside Mithranda. Two lengths, Koala Con, breakdance wide. And Jenny Oso at the tail of the field. Along the back straight, and Zanetta in front, leading at an even clip, led by just over length on Kahulawa. Pastor Express up against the fence and on the back of the speed. Three quarters, Russet Ridge, two lengths to Luther outside, arcs the waiter going a little keenly. Three quarters away, Alva Lance, he'll sleep well tonight. He's out very wide, Yippie yo -Yo's pulling in the centre. Apache King on the fence, a length away, Myth Randa, then Pursuits, he's back fourth last. Koala Con, Breakdance and Jenny Oso trail the field. They come off the back inside the halfway mark of the race as they go to the thousand and Zanetta made the pace. Zanetta leads them up in the Summer Cup, three quarters Kahulawa. Pastor Express, the back of the speed from Russet Ridge, arcs the way to Luther. They were followed wider out by Valanche. Yippie Io strung up in traffic in the centre of runners midfield. Three quarters Apache Kingy stablemate, breakdance going around Mithranda. Koala Con, third last pursuit, suffle back the second last and two links to Jenny Oso. The race on in earnest at the 700 mark. Zanetta in charge. She's been there every step of the way in the Cup and led a neck on Kahulawa. Old Luther moved Moved up three wide, Pastor Express is sweating on a run from Russet Ridge. Valance and Yippie Io's come to the outside now, putting in his run, breakdance outside of him. Arcs the way to Apache King, a will back with pursuits. In the home straight, Zanetta at the foot of the rise, the front runner. Pastor Express back to the inside, Luther the outside. Zanetta's kicked at the top of the hill, she's in front of Luther. Pastor Express going for the gap and he's starting to run home strongly. Zanetta at the 150 in front of Pastor Express. Zanetta over length, Pastor Express and Luther. Zanetta in front, she's going to do it all the way in the cup, and it was a great ride by Dee Beasley. Home she goes, Zanetta, and she wins the cup for Gay Waterhouse from Pastor Express. Luther Apache King, a photo third from Breakdance. Then Yippie Io, who didn't come on from Valance and Mithranda, arcs the way to Koala Con, Jenny Oso Pursuits, then Russet Region, Kahulawa last in. Zanetta has led them a merry dance to win this year's cup. Beautifully rated in front by Dan Beasley. They left him alone in the early stages of the race. And he was freewheeling on this very, very much informed and greatly improved mare. And Zanetta at 570 and $2 has been too good. Pastor Express has yet again played second fiddle. He was second fiddle in the race last year to Dan Still Dawn. And Luther has got third number four after the photo, hanging on for that position. The winner of the race, Zanetta, trained by Gay Waterhouse, who's in WA for her big team of runners over there for their big carnival. She won this race with linesmen when Larry Cassidy was successful, setting a, a weight record in recent years at 59 and a half. And Zanetta, with the luxury of only 52 and a half kilograms on her back, rock solid in condition on her home turf, the first time she has ever raced on home territory. And Zanetta has simply run them right off their legs, aided by a fabulous tactical ride in front by Dan Beasley. Pastor Express has run second. Probably got bogged down turning the bend on that worst section up against the fence, but he never stopped trying in the home straight. But the 57, the difference of four and a half kilograms in the weight has made the world of difference over the concluding stages. And Luther, more prominent today, wide coming down the side. He's run a remarkably improved race with his 53 and a half weight drop ridden by Rod Quinn. So here's Zanetta coming back now, a four-year-old brown mare by Centane out of Zangler, trained by Gay Waterhouse, ridden by Dan Beasley, a wonderful training performance, equalled only by the ride of Dan Beasley. Yeah, great ride, that. It's set. Frisk me the last one to move up. Frisk me moving into the centre of the line and they're set for a start now in the Ken Sturt. 
All clear there. Ready. Racing now. And Prince Humble stood there and missed it. First out, Bila Hill. Awesome rule away. Well, Senek talk from the outside. And Atomic Man going forward. Backstop taking up a handy position with Arabian Magic. Frisk me. Don't say goodbye. Going around them with my king's hero. Then hot taste back behind those runners comes Threadneedle. On the outside of it, Captain Clipper. Prince Humble going up inside. Uh, the next bunch, including Chart the Stars, Our Heritage, and Into the Mystery. Down by the thousand, the leader Senek talk. Nearly a length in front. Don't say goodbye. Going to second. Two to Atomic Man, Bela Hill, my king's hero. Frisk me is over on the outside, out three and four deep. Backstop in the rails in the centre, awesome rule. A length end to hot taste, followed by Prince Humble, Arabian Magic. At the head of the others, then as they come to the turn, was our heritage thread needle. Then came into the mystery chart. The stars back with Captain Clipper inside the 600. Senek talk and neck in front of Don't Say Goodbye, Atomic Man, my king's hero, four deep. Then comes Bela Hill on the inside of Backstop, getting into the clear from Frisk me and our heritage. Further back then, Prince Humble as they swing and deeper out on the track, Captain Clipper. At the 300, the leader, Senek Talk, Bela Hill getting the rails run. Then Don't Say Goodbye, Hot Taste running on Atomic Ruler. Frisk me is under the whip from our heritage, but Senek Talk in front, 100 out. Hot Taste on the outside as after it then comes, Don't Say Goodbye. Hot Taste going to Senek Talk near home. Hot Taste put the head in front and Hot Taste won it by a long head. Two Senek Talk, third Don't Say Goodbye, getting home late, Chate the Stars. Then Awesome ruled our heritage, Thread needle followed by Arabian Magic, Prince Humble. Then came Frisk Me, Backstop, into the mystery, followed by Beela Hill, weakening badly. Was Atomic Man back with Captain Clipper, Prince Humble, and last in My King's Hero. Hot Taste, the winner. And another good finish. The winner of race six, number four, Hot Taste, ridden by Travis Creek. Beautifully placed all the way, got the split before the turn. Has just been a little bit too strong for Senek Talk in the last little bit. And third placing, going to number six, Don't Say Goodbye. Those numbers official, four, one and six. Fourth placing, going to number 19, Chart the Stars, who's come from back at the tail. And fifth in was number 10, and that was Awesome Rule. So it's four, one and six, good finish with Hot Taste getting the prize, 992.90 and defeating Scenic Talk and Don't Say Goodbye. Mowbray's two minutes off, and here it's to Button. Sun Hayes just a bit fidgety. They're racing, further still, sort of went up in the air at the start, dropped back, and Sun Hayes walked out of the uh, out of the gates. Club Life and Natural Rain away quickly. Natural Rain's going to go to the front from Club Life. Romanticise and LA Blur in the centre, and Rara Eclipse has again found himself out deep. Two lengths away is Calamba, then came the Ravalli, further still Sun Hayes and Tri Cove. Inside the first 400 metres, a natural rain puts on the tempo. Leads three quarters on club life. L.A. Blur going hard in third position around his stablemate Romanticise. Rara clips outside Calamba, so they're racing together. Two lengths away further still, the Ravelli. Sun Hayes and Tri Cove last of all, with seven lengths covering the field. 900 metres to go, natural rain in front. Well, Munster's not going to fight L.A. Blair. He gave him his head and he bolted up and ran to the front. Two lengths away in third position, then is Club Life. Two lengths, Rara clips. Boy, he's been out of luck of late. Three wide again around Calamba. On the inside is Romanticise. Two lengths further still, the Ravalli, Tri Cove and Sun Hayes. Before the bend, 600 metres to go. LA Blur's on the fence. Natural Rain pops off the rail. He moves up to be a half length away second. Rara clips four out. Club Life three wide. Calamba tracks those. Romanticise the inside. Tri Cove trying to go forward. Ran into a dead end. Further still to the outside from the Ravalli and Sun Hayes. On top of the rise. Natural Rain in front. Giving a side at the moment. Leading from LA Blur. Rara clips further still down the centre from Calamba. Natural rain at the 200 mark in front. Further still with every stride is gaining momentum and Trico from the back with a late whoosh. It's further still moving up to natural rain and then Trico further still put his neck in front. 50 out. Drew clear and he won the money by three quarters of a length. Trico got second. Third is uh, natural rain from Calamba. Then LA Blur romanticised Rara Clips. Sun Hayes the Ravalli and Club Life Week and he was last home. Further still. Gets his neck very low to the ground, really wants to find the line, and beautifully ridden by Craig Carmody for Guy Walter. He's finished too well to beat Tri Cove, who's come with a big burst down the centre of the track after being held up badly at the top of the stretch. And natural rain running the bookies a great sight at big odds. Brad Pengelly finishing in third position. So further still, the winner of the race. He's going great guns at the moment. Uh, he won last start at Randwick, 
He's a very consistent horse. His record reads 36 starts, 5 wins, but I can assure you, on the 11 times that he's run a drum, he has been very unlucky on quite a few occasions and probably should have had that winning record much better than it reads today. A six-year-old bay gilding by Yonder, trained by Guy Walter and ridden by Craig Carmody. Gee, Rara Eclipse has got to be the unluckiest horse I've seen for a long time. Three starts back, three wide, couldn't get in. Three, uh, two starts back, three wide, couldn't get in. Rose Hill, badly bocked up on the fence, couldn't get a run until the last 200 metres. And today he's done it tough again. He was out three wide most of the way and has battled on pretty well. $6.10 and $2.20 for the winner further still. Second to try cave $2. Well, it's two wins for him from 42 starts now. And it's been over two years since he's won a race, so he's been a bit of a heartbreak for Bill Mitchell. Ridden by Mitch Newman and Natural Rain, trained by Bob Thompson, ridden by Brad Pengelly at $9.90. Ruralism just shifting around. The all clear is there. They're ready. Ruralism, the one though. They're off now. Jump with them, Ruralism. Siri Nelg a little bit slow to go. Swords drawn away smartly. Mustang red and withdrawn began well. Rembetica up handy. Ruralism ruling Regent. And Planet King from the inside is driving through. Deeper out there comes Dalo Ban. Behind those, Citroen on a court a little bit deep at the 1400. Next then, Babetto. Well back visual displays with Defence Force Flirty Bird. And last of all is Siri Nelg. Up the hill they go towards the 1200, Rembetica taking over, leading by a length. Second placing is withdrawn, two lengths to Mustang Red, dropping into the box seat outside at Dacos. Next is Ruralism, Planet King and Ekaway, the inside, one and a half to Ruling Regent. Being shaded there by Dalo Ban on top of the hill, next is Citronella, two away. Swords drawn the inside, they string right out about three to Babetto with Defence Force, Visual Displays, Flirty Bird. And last of all is Siri Nelg, who's 15 lengths off the lead. 900 metres out, it's Rembetica by two lengths, who withdrawn two and a half to Mustang Red. On the outside, Dacos, three away, then comes Ruralism, followed next by Planet King, starting to make ground. Next, Dalo Ban, then well back, Ruling Regent and Citronella, followed by Swords Drawn. The Beto over on the inside from Defence Force, well back, Visual Displays, with Flirty Bird and Siri Nelg, 600 metres out. And Rembetica by a length to Withdrawn, Mustang Red the inside, Dacos closing a length for the back ruralism planet king needing an out it's pocketed there followed by dalo ban and coming now is citronella then ruling region going up on the inside the better as they corner rembetica grabbed by withdrawn mustang red gets the run between them deeper out ruralism and then dacos dalo ban citronella and the planet king behind those 200 meters out withdrawn in front ruralism the outside dacos visual displays from a mile back is starting to storm home mustang red withdrawn on the outside visual displays great them. Oh, it's a three-way go here. Visual display is withdrawn. Mustang Red and flying late. Planet King followed by Ruralism. Swords drawn. Then Dacos, Citronella, Ruling Region, Dalo Ban, Siri Nelg, Defence Force, Flirty Bird and well back then last of all after leading around the turn was Rembetica. Oh boy, here's a good one. Terrific finish here. Visual displays will get it. On the outside, it's got there. Visual displays. Storming home down the outside. Withdrawn and Mustang Red just in front of the flying Planet King. Number 14 goes into the frame, visual displays. That man again, Stephen Bastard. So it's a treble today, not a double. Number three second, withdrawn, written by Nash Rubilla. And third placing. Uh, we'll go to the one on the inside, Mustang Red. Number seven, who gets it, written by Jason Patton. Very, very good finish, 14, three and seven, fourth in number eight, Planet King, who uh, finished the race off just a little too late and fifth in was number 12, and that was Ruralism. Brown a winning double, the top jockey. Warwick Farm, big card of racing. Couple of good bets there, I thought, tomorrow. All set to run the last. Lights are on. Gates open. Dark Sky Simmer near the inside. Slow to go. Take a flight out. Running. Black Magic began well. Juggling time and Cherubian in the whitish colours near the inside out quickly from Ryder. Donald not far away from the Mule's brother caught out very deep as they get going. They were followed by Frank Sonata, Tyrrell, Blue, Ballard, Ludestina, Machismo, Simmer, All Talent and Dark Sky. Balancing up now at the 800 metres mark, Take a Flight was out of the gates, running, and he leads on the fence from juggling time. 
Cherubi in the box seat, Black Magic one out, three wide rider and the Mule's brother four out in the pink uh, purple colours. One away, Tyrrell outside of Donald, in between runners Blue Ballad from Frank Sonata, Dark Sky, Machismo, Ludestina. Simmers a mile back and snookered on the inside as they turn from all talent. Around the bend, juggling times up to the leader, take a flight. Black Magic three out and very wide rider now claiming the lot of them. Cherubi in behind those, he's riding confidently on Black Magic, hasn't even let him go yet at the 300. Donald's down the outside, he gives him a shake up now. Black Magic at the 200 pole, race three quarters in front of juggling time. He really sent him for home now. Here's Donald ch charging down the centre with Frank Sonata. Black Magic in front. Frank Sonata and Donald are coming too late. Black Magic in front and he wins. Wins a half length to Frank Sonata and Donald. Close up juggling time. Simmer from the back from Machismo, Ludestina, Cherubian. Then take a flight. The Mules brother. They were followed by Dark Sky. All talent. Tyrrell well back with Ryder and Blue Ballad last in. Rode very confidently, Len Beasley. He was bolting at the top of the straight black magic. And he gave him a dig in the ribs and he bolted away. Got a length and a half in front. But just for a second, I thought, well, here's Donald and Frank Sonata. And they were coming home well. But in the end, this beautifully uh, looking animal, great looking animal he is, beautifully put together black magic. And he's raced on to win from Frank Sonata. And Corey Brown's failed by about a half length to win up a, a treble here today. And Donald running third, number five, ridden by Craig Carmody. 3.30 and 1.70 for Black Magic. He dashes to the lead, uh, three out, coming around the bend, moved up. Ryder was outside of him. He lets him go at the 200. He boots clear and it looked all over there and he shook him up the last 100 metres. Frank Sonata's come from a long way back in the field. He was really hitting top gear the last little bit. But Black Magic's been a mile too good. 3.30 and 1.70. Frank Sonata, 5.30. Donald at $4.30. Super effective numbers. Fourth home to number 10. Juggling time. Fifth to number one, Simmer, who ran home well. And number 13, take a flight after leading up in sixth position. Favourite home, Black... Listening's Joy, 18. 18 for Sky Trist. Dance the night at 9.40. 5.10 for Musical Chimes. Yangtze River at 14. 8.40 Royal Centurec. Belong at $7.40. Uh, $15 for Wayland, and the bottom two are big odds. Well, they tell me it's a big time in the Caulfield members bar right now because Nugget Felgate got the quaddy. His shout. And make sure you get in for your, uh, your beer from Nugget. Doesn't shout very often, but he's shouting now in the members bar at Caulfield. Let's go to Caulfield now with only a couple more to move in. Musical chimes at 5.30. Dame Kath 6.70 in the betting order. Belong at 7.30. Royal Send, Shurek, $8.10, $9.40 for Dance Tonight. Here's Brian Blackmore. Last one up is Bellandella Dream. All set. Ready for a start. Racing now. They've jumped away in a good line. Royal Centurick on the inside. Dame Cathaway smartly and also flaming Roberto. Quickly out is Princess Natalie, a musical chimes going forward from Listening's Joy, Diamba. Dance and Door Court Dancer drifting back, Talak Top with Yangtze River. At the tail of the field, Dance the Night, Wayland Sky, Tristan, Bellandella Dream. Up the hill they travel by the 1500. The leader was Princess Natalie, a length and a half to Royal Centurec. Flaming Roberto and musical chimes out deep. There's one in the centre of those. Listening's Joy behind them on the outside, Diamba as they drop the speed here. And a few of these fighting for their heads. Dame Kath over on the inside, tracking it, Talak Top Belong. Now Wayland is letting go from the rear and slips around the field quickly. Court Dancer further back, Yangtze River, followed by Dance and Door Sky Tristan. Last of all is Dancer.